Hey Santa Ana, this is DJ Chang back again for another online video DJ lesson on behalf of Active Learning and Dance Music Initiative. All right, so today we're gonna to continue our record lesson and we're gonna talk about the speeds at which they spin. So there are two main most common speeds that records spin at. One is 33 and a third RPMs and the other one is 45 RPMs. Now RPMs stands for revolutions per minute. So that means that if the record is spinning at 45 RPMs, that means it will spin around 45 times over the course of a minute versus 33 and a third. Now, they, you know, 45 is faster than 33. So um, that record needs to spin faster for that song to sound normal. Now, originally, the, um, the common standard was uh, records were printed at 33 and a third. That is um, the way you would find most, say, albums and most um, classical records typically spin at that speed. And that was just a standard that they set at the time. And um, later on, they came out with a smaller format record, um, which was called a 45, which only had a single song printed on it as opposed to a full album, okay? So this 12 inch record, these typically spun at 33 and a third RPMs. And then this smaller seven inch record, this little one here, these typically spin at 45 RPMs. Now the smaller the format um, means that you can't print as much song on it. So that's why these are considered to be singles, typically, and those are usually um, albums. Now the 45 record um, has to spin faster, so that means that this song only takes up this much amount of room, right? But if it was spinning at 33 and a third speed, then the song would be even smaller than what's here, but because it's spinning faster, the song takes up more physical space, okay? And whenever something takes up more space in the same amount of time or in the same amount of constraints, that means it's actually a higher resolution. So this is actually a higher quality pressing than say a 33 and a third 12 inch record. Another way to think about it is if you are um, say on a computer screen, right? And you got your computer screen or your phone screen and the, um, there are, you have one screen that has like, let's say a resolution of, you know, um, 240 by 320. That means 240 pixels by 320 pixels. And then you have like a high def um, screen that might be um, 1080 by 1920 pixels, right? A lot more pixels shoved into the same amount of space. So that makes the picture clearer, right? because there's more densely packed pixels in there to make a picture look more sharp or clear, right? So that's kind of how this works, is that there is more physical space allocated to the same amount of time of music. So if the 33 took up this much time of music, the 45 would take up this much amount of space when printed on a record for the same amount of time of music. So that's why the 45s are higher resolution. Okay. So now I'm going to do a little demonstration. Right now I have two records already loaded up. They're both of the same song, but they're actually printed at 33 RPMs and 45 RPMs. But it will sound the same when I play them out, even though they're spinning at different speeds. So we'll do a quick little demo and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to start up this one. So this song is spinning at 33 and a third RPM. Okay. Now, this track over here, I'm gonna play it at 45 RPMs. The song sounds identical. Even though they're spinning at two different speeds, it sounds the same. Now check it out what happens when I change it. Let's play this song at 33 RPMs. Kind of weird, huh? 
So now we've got this song that is spinning slower than it needs to spin, and it has this like slow motion pace to it. A little weird. Now let's switch back over to the other track. I'm gonna turn this one back on. And I'm gonna switch this one to 45. Ooh, that's really quick, it's super fast. Really awkward. You can hear it in his voice. His voice is pitched up. Sounds like a chipmunk. Okay. So that's what it sounds like when you play records at the incorrect speed versus their normal speed at which they're supposed to be played at. So that just shows you any song can be printed at either speed and can be played at either speed, but only sounds right in their correct speed. So thanks again for tuning in. This is uh, DJ B. Chang on behalf of Active Learning and Dance Music Initiative, signing off.